Okay, so now what's my moral? <laughs> Can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't know, that kings ask a lot of questions? Well, in fact, yeah, that the, that the initial question that the king asked about scale, basically, is what this particular proof of the Pythagorean theorem sort of highlights. It sheds uh, a certain light on it, and it depends very much from it. It's an old proof. It's probably, um, pro I, mean, I know it was uh, known in France in the late 1900s, but the historians would probably be able to bring it, who knows, all the way back. Yes, that, that the initial questions sort of frame the larger issues that you have to have in mind in order to have the, in order to sort of ingest the proof. Very often you're after one thing and in the background, let's say in the grounding of that thing, will be some very large foundational element that um, gets practiced in your, tr your attempt to understand the specific thing. For example, uh, well, there are many examples. Uh, Counter discovered or fell upon his Seth theory, initially working on an uh, issue in, uh, sort of a rather delicate issue in analysis. Or uh, more contemporary, the mathematician Grotendieck in trying to understand some conjectures of Ve, Andre Ve, uh, about the numbers of solutions of equations, felt that he had to, in fact, uh, certainly had to, understand the nature of uh, neighborhoods in topological spaces. You know, if you have a point, so to speak, a neighborhood is some sort of region, some vicinity of it. Now, usually we think of our neighborhood in a fairly naive way, but Grotendieck, in order to understand questions of number theory, had to revision, have re review and revision the issue of what is the neighbor, what is a neighborhood in a topological space. Professor, this story you've told, this fable you've just shared, yeah. it's not about Pythagorean theorem, is it? It's not about Pythagoras. Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, it is uh, uh, certainly a, a valid proof of the Pythagorean theorem, but I didn't tell it to you for that reason. What reason did you tell it for? What do you hope has come For out? exactly what I just uh, described. That is to say that there are always background issues which get highlighted in, uh, uh, in proofs. And um, I just wanted to emphasize that. There's another, there are many other reasons for giving this. There's something striking about the economy of the counselor's construction. He drew a single line, and that totally changed one's vision of, uh, of, of, of the, the geometry involved. Very often, there's a simple, simple introduction of something that's not logically within the framework of the question. And it could be very simple, and it utterly changes your view of what the question really is about and what its framework is.